Welcome back to another video investors. Today we're going to be going over Solo. This is an electric vehicle company based out of Vancouver, British Columbia, and they produce a quirky one seater vehicle called the Solo. A lot of people have actually been making fun of their products and they don't know how widespread the adoption of their Solo vehicles is going to be. But as from an investment standpoint, this presents a pretty intriguing opportunity. Part of my portfolio is invested in Solo, although a pretty small amount because this is a pretty risky company. However, I am still invested in Solo and they recently produced their fourth quarter results on March 23rd. So we're going to be going over those and whether or not I still think Solo is a buy uh, despite the 50% drop in its stock price since February 4th, as we can see right here. So first, let's talk about the addressable market. The CEO, Rivera, he noticed that electric vehicle companies were always doing one thing, supersizing vehicles to carry the maximum number of passengers and payload they might ever need. So he saw an opportunity in the market. What clicked for me is that three wheelers are so completely different than everything else out there trying to compete with Tesla, he says. Noting that most EVs are either full-sized cars or and SUVs or micro mobility options like scooters. It's really about occupying that space in the middle. And that's where Electric Mechanica's new Solo fits that niche. It's an $18,500 vehicle offering a 100 mile range. Okay, so let's move on to their recent fourth quarter and full year 2020 results. So first, the most recent company highlight was that they selected Mesa, Arizona for in the greater Phoenix area for the company's US-based assembly facility and engineering technical center. The decision marked the culmination of a year-long nationwide search. The proposed facility in Mesa will support, uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, by the way, Electromechanica's strategic plan to meet anticipated demand for its flagship Solo EV. When fully operational, the facility is expected to create up to 500 new jobs and will be capable of producing up to 20,000 Solos per year. It will feature both a light vehicle assembly plant along with state-of-the-art engineering technical center, including multiple labs to support comprehensive research facilities as well as vehicle chassis, battery, and power electronics testing workshops. So the company will also work with local municipalities to initiate a pilot solo share program as part of its larger drive share utility and fleet ecosystem. So they're trying to use these products not only for to cater towards a population uh, that, for example, commutes to work in, as an individual, but also for, for example, Uber Eats. Uh, they don't need big cars, especially if there's just one person delivering the uh, takeout order to customers. You could just save money and save a tremendous amount of costs using a solo EV vehicle because it only costs $18,500. Okay, and as companies are trying to market themselves as, uh, you know, emission free, carbon negative or carbon neutral, um, they might adopt these solo EVs as a pretty, pretty good way to to get around a, a compound, for example. Uh, so they also expanded the solo retail footprint into 10 additional high end shopping centers and related areas and two new states. Um, and you can you can see exactly what states they have already have their marketing campaign in. So they delivered a limited first shipment of solo EVs into the US. So that means that they started production in late 2020, basically, and they're rolling out these cars uh, only in the high return on investment type uh, deals. OK, so um, so again, they these EVs will be served and has been used specifically for high ROI activities, including press events, marketing, retail, distribution, test drives, corporate and advertising purposes and fleet demonstrations. They also hosted a solo drive tour for early adopters, providing select reservation holders with opportunity to look, see, and drive solo. So the Mosse State Tour began in Arizona and Scottsdale uh, in the first quarter of 2021, and it will be followed by events in Cerritos, Walnut Creek uh, in California, as well as in Portland, Oregon. So they're selecting these states and these cities to market their products to because they think that these are the type of people that uh, will adopt their solo EVs. Okay, uh, and again, they, they scale the drive solo marketing campaign to key eco conscious cities, which I already stated, uh, and the traditional digital hybrid campaign featured approximately 300 billboard and digital mall displays, as well as social content across the Facebook's company's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram pages. 
And so for management, they said that 2020 was a transformative year for Solo, one that began with the launch of our first retail locations and ended with the arrival of the first production Solo EVs onto US soil. So in a relatively short amount of time, we have expanded our geographic presence, uh, blah, 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 so everything that you can see here. So let's look at their financial results. So first, cash and cash equivalents and short-term deposits were 129.5 million this year compared with 8.6 million as of December 31st, 2019, so compared to last year. And a lot of that was because they raised capital through investments, through share offerings, etc. Okay, so they raised a lot of money. Okay, this wasn't like they increased revenue. So cash used in operations in the fourth quarter was 10.5 million compared to 3.6 million in the same year ago quarter. So they're expending a lot of money, but that's to be expected in a small company that's trying to ramp up production and also build out a facility. So total revenue was $224,000 compared to $238,000 in the same year ago quarter. So this decrease in revenue was primarily attributable to a decrease in revenue associated with the sale of custom built roadsters. So not only do does Solo offer their one seated car, but they also offer the Tofino, which is kind of the, their more sports car, and also the E-Roadster, which is more uh, a hipster vehicle, okay? Um, and general and administrative expenses in the Q4 2020 were 3.8 million compared to 1.7 million. So again, expenses are just going up. So this increase was primarily due to increased rent, office, legal and professional investor relations and salary expense offset by decreased consulting fees. Research and development expenses in the Q4 were 3.8 million compared to 2.0 million. Uh, and this was due to an increase in labor costs offset by a de decrease in material costs. And so operating loss in the fourth quarter was 11.1 .1 million compared to 6.3 million at the same year ago quarter. And again, this was due to the uh, reasons stated above. And so net loss was 41.1 million. So they're burning through cash like crazy. So they have still have 130 million in cash, but they just lost 41 million in cash this quarter uh, compared to a net loss of 6.1 million in the same year ago quarter. So this increase in net loss was primarily related to the increased expenses previously noted, as well as a change in the fair value of the company's warrant deriv derivative liability. And again, so you can see here in their total 2020 results, uh, and so their net loss in 2020 overall was 63 million compared to 23.2 million in 2019. So this is a huge net loss, and I mean, if they have 130 million and they're burning through 63 million in a year, you can imagine that in basically two more years they're going to go bankrupt if they do don't don't do something drastically different okay and so i think and i'm confident that this company will do something drastically different uh, one they have 23,000 pre-ordered vehicles and you have to pay a 250 dollar deposit on that so one i think as they finally ramp up production in 2021 more people will order and buy the Solo, uh, as well as just increasing the Solo brand and Electromechanica brand will also increase the orders of, let's see, their Tofino or their custom e-roadsters. Okay, so let's see what the CFO had to say. We end the year with more than 129 million in cash on the balance sheet, putting us in the driver's seat heading into 2021, excuse me, with the construction of our U.S. assembly facility and engineering technical center on the horizon, we are in our strongest financial position to date, both from a cash position as well as our controls and procedures. As we continue to scale our production efforts going forward, there will need to be additional strategic investments in research and development, sales and marketing, and other key areas. While we are making investments to support Electromechanica's long-term growth, our focus remains on conserve, uh, on conservate capital allocation and risk mitigation. Mitigation. Okay, so that's what was Solo's 2020 results. Overall, I am slightly disappointed in these results. Of course, they're going to burn through cash, but they burned through 63 million in cash, which to me was a little bit disappointing. But again, since this is a risky company, uh, I didn't invest too much in this company. And again, you have to look at the risk reward ratio. And I'm betting that this company will be able to be profitable sometime down the road, maybe five years down the road. And hopefully this will be a company that's worth more than $521 million. Okay, and as more and more of the world are adopting electric vehicles. I think that Electromechanica and their solo car uh, do have a pretty cool niche in the market. Okay, so that's why I'm investing in this stock. That's why I still believe in the stock, no matter what people say, no matter what people may, may make fun of this stock. Uh, and 
who knows what the short-term price fluctuations of solar may be it may go back down to even under like four dollars or us dollars again i'll still be holding my shares um but i do see this as a good long-term play and if they execute properly i think this could be a stock that we could see 15 20 even 25 dollars maybe like five years down the road if they execute properly uh, please be sure to like and subscribe as well as check out some of the links down below in my description for example to my free discord we talk about oil tankers we talk about other stocks uh, so feel free to check that out uh, and message me if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next one